Hello, uh, I am just a plain undergrad student, but I made a, a project about um, a fluid and vitreous inclusions in ordinary chondrites. Well, um, ordinary chondrites uh, uh, come from the um, desert of Atacama, uh, where, uh, where is a place uh, with the oldest and driest desert of the world, and that allows to accumulate meteorites uh, because we have an um, old landscape and we have um, no water for a few water, um, a, a low level of water uh, for meteorization process. Um, the, the material who uh, falls to the earth um, the most um, uh, material comes from uh, the meteorites that you can find, and these, these come from falls. Uh, that means if you, you can see how fall the meteorites. The, the most uh, part of uh, meteorites come from Antarctica, and the other part come from desert zones, like um, Atacama Desert. Um, the most part of uh, stony meteorites are chondrites, and the less are irons, and the less stony irons. And my study is based on ordinary chondrites that, that are 84% um, of uh, chondrites, and the other are uh, other types of uh, chondrites. Well, in a general idea, chondrites uh, were formed in a proto-solar nebula system. Um, uh, they, they are the, the most primitive um, meteorites, types of meteorites, but um, they they have a um, refractory um, composition and also have, um, sometimes have volatiles. Um, well, this is um, a scheme to constrain the temperature con conditions that we ho uh, hope to find in chondrites. Uh, here is a diagram that explains the chondrules. They are forming in a, a refractory zone. And then for solar process, they are uh, ex expulsed to the outside part of proto protoplanetary disk. And they, they, this process allows to um, an enrichment in volatile um, composition. In these um, uh, ordinary chondrites, we have uh, this kind of temperature about uh, this, this region. And that allows to find also um, a pressure. This is only uh, for the restraint and compared with the information that we can uh, find in the inclusions, fluid inclusions uh, results. Well, this is a fluid inclusion. It's a salient uh, cavity with fluids and water. And you can find like a, a family of inclusions in minerals. Well, we have um, how um, fluid inclusions uh, are created. We have imperfections in crystals, and the, the, these imperfections uh, allow us to um, keep volatiles um, in these zones. So you, you have, at the first time, this kind of crystal, then you have imperfections, and then you uh, can trap these uh, volatiles. When the fluid inclusions are formed it, um, for uh, imperfections that are related with growth zones, we have this kind of uh, um, morphology, 
with uh, like um, that um, follow the morphology of uh, crystals. And if uh, fluid inclusions are formed in fractures, they could the morphology of, morphology of uh, crystals. And this is the morphology when a fracture is healing of fluid inclusions. So we have first a fracture, and then uh, the crystals um, go to the lower energy gips for, um, that allows this form of crystals. Vitreous inclusions are melts that are trapped in crist crystals and we have sometimes uh, bu bubbles too, and some volatile phases too. The basic, basic assumptions for fluid inclusions or vitreous inclusions are that uh, hot crystals or fluid inclusions are impermeable to chemical change. That means uh, the system don't interchange matter. Inclusions represent a system chemical closure since entrapment type. Inclusions volume remains constant since entrapment, entrapment time, and uh, this and this means that density of inclusion is constant. Fluids or melting are trapped as homogeneous fa phase. We have a pure water system. For example, uh, you have to, this is a uh, earth gradient, but um, in this case, it doesn't mean anything. But if you assume that the uh, density is constant, you move in this diagram by the isocore. So if you uh, decrease the temperature, you are going by this line, and then if, if you uh, decrease the temperature enough, you can intersect this line of vapor that separate the phase of liquid and vapor. So you will stay here in the liquid vapor zone, and then you have a bubble and water. If you, if, if you have a fluid inclusion, this point, point represents the minimum uh, temperature of entrapment of the fluid inclusion because we assume that fluid inclusion were uh, a homogeneous phase. So it, it, it will still uh, descending the temperature, we will arrive here, and then uh, we will find um, ice, and for each um, element and material, fluid, uh, and uh, water, or methane or CO2, we have a unique a triple point. So with this diagram, we can identify the, the composition of fluid inclusion and the, the temperature, the minimum temperature of entrapment. Uh, we have also here uh, the diagram of water and if we um, have a constant uh, pressure, we, and we are in a fluid inclusion with a bubble, we will stay in this region here. And so we, we are going to cut this uh, bell shape, and then we have two densities, one for the, the, the fluid and another for excuse me, for the water, another for volatiles. And I, I also, I will agree, uh, I, I will add that um, some, um, a little, a little phil philus, uh, mi microorganisms that uh, like to live in a saline, or in a brain uh, a environment, like to live in, in these allied crystals, uh, that was fine for the Earth. It's a, it's a fluid inclusion with a light. It was fine also in uh, another kind of meteorite, uh, fluid inclusions with um, a, light, a light too. The, the, mo the, the challenger, the, the future challenger, is fine this kind of organized in uh, this is fluid inclusions of a light, because a light 
allows to preserve uh, microorganisms. We have here, I, uh, I think, SAC meteorite, Mo Mo Monahans meteorite, and uh, you can see here the allied crystals. Well, the, the method is really simple and cheap in comparison of other uh, tools for finding uh, temperatures or organics. We have a, a double section, a Polish a thin section, and then we look at here, we make a petrographic study, <coughs> we find the inclusions, and then we, when we find inclusions, we try to find a family of inclu inclusions that, that means uh, are related to um, crystal growth zone or a fracture, and then we heated this uh, uh, polish section or uh, call this poly polish section, and we find a, when we find a, a bubble or ice, uh, we can uh, uh, find the temperature, the minimum temperature of treatment of this fluid, or or even we can detect what fluid is. For example, this is my what I find. Here I find some gases here. We have a tiny family here of fluid inclusions. That means there are trapped with the same temperature at the same uh, pressure conditions. And here we find melt inclusions that also are a family. Uh, this crystal is olivine, and this crystal, I think, is plagioxase. Ah, I, I have to men mention something. I didn't make a micro thermometry studies because the Polish uh, thin section that uh, it was uh, um, bo bo um, borrowed to me, it was not the proper cut. I need a double Polish uh, thin section. So I only can go into um, the first part of this study. But we confirm the presence of fluid and vitreous inclusions in some thin sections. Um, la, um, a few vitreous inclusions were found in the samples and those were small. A small in inclusions were found which were secondary with some secondary steam. Uh, with presence of metal with decrepitated steam. No fluid inclusions or, or, of a light were found. For the type of uh, meteorite that we, we use, uh, that, that result is hope. We expect this result. Uh, if you want to make a fluid inclusion study, you have to uh, be careful with the, the procedure of your cut because sometimes artifacts um, are finding like uh, fluid inclusions but are epoxy, glue uh, for the cut. And sometimes people uh, heat this cut, uh, his, his, his cut, and they find uh, fluid inclusions but they are uh, glue epoxy. And for many times uh, fluid inclusions are not considered for meteorites, for, for these things, because when meteorites um, hit the, the Earth, uh, sometimes they are so metamorphic with, with uh, a brachiaid uh, texture, they are minerals, too broken, so then you put the epoxy um, um, above the, the cut, and then you have a uh, fluid inclusion that from the epoxy. But uh, nowadays is accepted uh, fluid inclusions for uh, a study of meteorites. Conclusions. Uh, the presence of vitreous and fluid inclusions in ordinary chondrites uh, of the Atacama Desert is confirmed. The presence of secondary fluid inclusions in the sample allowed to assume the presence of fluids, of fluids during mineral rehealing process on the chondrite or in the chondros. The vitreous inclusions present in the sample were interpreted as evidence records of melt generated during, during the forming process of the chondrite. <laughs>
or, or its control. It is possible that some composition of some inclusions found might correspond to H2O. A microthermometric analysis is necessary to confirm this. For a future inclusion investigation on ordinary chondrite, it is highly recommended UC double poly polish synthection instead of polish synthection. Also, it's of, it's high, it is highly recommended analyze separate chondrules inclusions and matrix inclusion because each of these chondrite parts represent different stage of chondrite formation. Thanks.